this has been a, a decent fire, a pretty good fire, but you know we've had worse. And the fact is, right now we've got a break in the wind, so we can anticipate a, you know getting a, a better handhold on it right now. We encompass a lot. Obviously, we're a multi-mission aircraft. We do from search and rescue, EMS calls, we transport, we fight fire. We basically will do about anything you can imagine, but uh, uh, firefighting is one of our major roles as well as EMS calls. What we do is temporarily put the, take the heat out of the fire till the guys on the ground can get in and actually do the work. We, we enable them to get in there. We put it down for a while. We're not long term. We basically are short term to get it to a point where guys can manage it on the ground. Um, if you continually drop water in a fire, you'll put it out possibly, but after a while, if the winds continue to blow and it heats up again, it will rekindle. So all we do is allow them to get in and either turn the water uh, with the soil to basically put a fire out um, and, and basically put it to rest. It's got a retractable snorkel system on it, which is unique to the fact that we will deploy the snorkel. The snorkel then will suck water or push water into the tank, uh, then stow the snorkel and then allow the aircraft to fly at a fairly fast rate of speed because you don't have something hanging below the aircraft or an external load type thing. It typically is around a minute, a little over a minute to get a thousand gallons in the aircraft. Again, and that's all weight dependent whether or not we actually carry the full thousand gallons because of the, uh, we have a gross weight of the aircraft. So sometimes we, we basically adjust fuel. When we have more fuel, we have less water. When we have less fuel, we have more water. We're, we're, uh, we're a great asset, but we're not the only asset. Our, our fire suppression aides, those guys get down there and they have, they are the hardest working people in the county. They get down there and work in the flames, they work in the ash, they work in the heat. And those are the people we support along with the dozers that get the job done.